This control here on the uh, remote controller, this here is a six position switch, which is one of the reasons we like this, uh, this RC. And uh, we call this the master control. And for each position, we can assign a different camera uh, function. So we are now on position one, which is assigned to the ND filter, the camera's internal ND filter. You can see the color of the LED on the device changing as I switch this. The blue one, the first position, is the ND filter. So if I rotate this slave knob here, we can see the ND filter changing. Second position, we have mapped this one to the shutter angle. So as I rotate it, I can change the shutter angle step by step. This could also work with the shutter speed if you configure the camera in that manner. The third position is assigned to the uh, ISO, which is 2000 now. Fourth position is assigned to the uh, frame rate. I wanted to say white balance, but it's frame rate. So if you want to change the frame rate, you can do it in the, in the same manner. Fifth one is assigned to white balance Kelvin, so we can change the, the value step by step or cycle through our presets. So as I said, this is just an example. You can assign these functions any way you see fit, not necessarily using this master and slave uh, system, but you can have each control assigned separately to a camera function. Few other functions that uh, are important to, to mention is the fact that you can do uh, playback, so you can watch uh, the clips you shot, and uh, you can also uh, trigger not only record it, recording but also pre-recording. So if, for instance, you have to take uh, uh, an action shot and uh, you want to, to trigger the recording at this moment that the respective uh, action happens and you want, don't, do not want to uh, occupy extra space on your uh, SSDs, then uh, you can use pre-recording uh, uh, remotely. And also you can um, choose to bring the tools on your, on your monitor, on your remote monitor. So right now I have activated the false colors. Same goes for focus speaking. And uh, we can also control the overlay entirely. So I can now disable and have a clean SDI output, I brought it back and I can also control the tools independently.